Right guys, for those of you that know me, obviously um, know that I started a small fencing business uh, recently. And uh, the way the world, um, I'm just having major issues with materials. So I'm having to order materials in you know, fairly large amounts, way ahead of schedule. What we've done is created a storage area down there at the other end of the garden. So this is a storage area. Basically just for storing, you know, the most used uh, products within fencing, so fence posts, rails, slats, stuff like that. So the reason for the video is I've basically created this small storage yard, or storage area if you like, um, and I've had to create, obviously I had to cut, well there were actually wooden gates here before, which are there. Um, had no end of problems with them before, just was sagging and stuff because of the span, so I decided to build uh, metal gates. So I pretty much fabricated uh, med metal gates. These are approximately three meters wide. Um, I'll just run through what I've done here. Right, so one of the first considerations for these gates uh, was, you know, I want to keep the same style as the, the, out, the outside fence here. So basically wooden slats, you know, just to continue that look right across. Uh, obviously the trouble with doing that is fixing the slats to a metal gate. So, you know, just a quick sort of bodge solution really is just to fit fence rails. Uh, rails to the gate, so it's just a case of nailing on the slats, uh, which are, you know, easy to fit and easy to replace if you need to. Um, so it's, it's basically a metal framed gate with the the wooden rails. So okay, so a quick run through of what I've done. First stage of the process, obviously, fit two four by four posts. And um, these are steel posts, two and a half mil uh, wall thick. Um, so you can see them there. That just gives you, you know, a much more rigid structure. So the posts have been capped off, uh, just to stop uh, water ingress. The posts are cemented in roughly 800 millimetres down, so you know just just over two and a half feet down. You know, and they're, they're absolutely solid. So post there, post there. Uh, the gates are made out of 60 by 40 box section along the bottom, and the, the main frame is 40 by 40 box section. Again, two and a half mil wall thick. Um, pretty much just rectangular you know, spanning the width. And uh, what I've done here is just put plates, welded plates onto the, the box section just so I could screw in the, the rails. So we've done that in uh, all the locations. Uh, you'll notice these here, uh, these are actually tension braces. So normally if this was a wooden gate you would probably brace it this way, you know, a compression brace. Uh, but we welded, you know, fabricated metal gates you're better off with a tension brace so that stops the, the gate from sagging. I mean I can actually stand on there and it you know, swings no problem without sagging. Uh, I've got the drop bolts. What I've done here, just a bit of the 4x4 box section, capped it off, welded a big, you know, about a one foot long, you know, bit of the box section to it, sunk it in and concrete it in. And um, we've just, you know, Drilled a couple of holes, and that's for the drop bolt. Uh, to hinge the gate, I've just used these adjustable sort of pin hinges. These are twenty millimeter, a twenty millimeter pin uh, with a, a twenty millimeter eye. And the beauty of these is you can move the gate, you know, in or out, move the top one out or in whatever, so you can level up the gate, and also, you know. If the gate needs to come over this way, you know, to close this centre gap, for instance, um, you can just, you can do it, you know, by adjusting these bolts. So these are handy, you know, when I put all the slats on, if there is any movement, you know, with the weight, there might be some slight movement, I can always adjust them back, you know, just to get get it back in position. So that's a quick overview of what we've done. Uh, obviously I have to put a, some sort of lat, uh, locking mechanism there, and probably some latch on the top. Uh, and that'll be the gates I'm done. So what I'll do now, I'm going to paint the, the rails, obviously, paint the slats, get the slats on, obviously, and then well, before we do all that, we'll paint the frame. You can obviously see the old fence here, the wooden fence. It's obviously sitting way off plumb, so I'm going to have to pull this back. I'll probably tie it in somehow with a gate and box this in, just to close it all off. I'll we'll neaten that up once we're done. All right, guys, that's the frames painted. Uh, just, I just ended up just brushing them with hammerite. Um, I mean, I'm not too worried about the finish as long as it stops them from rusting. Um, I've painted the rails before we put the slats on. So pretty much that's the frame of the gate finished. 
it's just a case of nailing, drawing a string line across the, the whole top of the gate, install all the slats, um, and then we'll get them painted. I'll just got to paint them while, while they're on the gate, uh, so you can see. Yeah, so the beauty of doing it this way is that now putting the slats on is real easy. It's just like installing slats on a fence. You know, butt them on the outside, use a nail gun, just nail them on all the way along. And that's it. Um, the reason I've done it this way is because I really couldn't be bothered using self-tapping screws and, you know, drilling into the gate frame and self-tapping the, the slats on. Um, it's far quicker and easier to do it this way, in my opinion. Right guys, outside of the gate here, what I've done, I'm just strung a line along the top. I'm just following that line with these boards here. I'm just going to board out from the centre, back, and then the centre, back. Any rip cuts we need to make will be in the corner there and not seen. Um, I'm just using a 20mm spacer here. This is a homemade aluminium spacer I use for fencing. Just a bit of aluminium box section. Butt it up, put the slat against there, nail it. And that's it, so we'll do that all the way along. That should be the gate pretty much boarded off. Uh, I'll carry on with that now and we'll show you how it's done. Hey right, guys, finished gates. See, that's still a few little bits and bobs to do. But as I was explaining earlier, um, the reason we've done this is to get the slats to match. Here's the existing fence, runs into the gate, so it's fairly seamless. Although they are set back slightly, deliberately. Uh, this distance here is approximately four and a half metres across, so each gate's, you know, roughly six or seven feet, you know, each. So having a metal fabricated frame, it just eliminates the, you know, the risk of sagging. So this is approximately a 13 foot span, so each gate's six or seven foot. So if this was made out of wood, you'd have a fair job, you know, trying to, you know, stop it from sagging. So hence the, the fabricated metal frame. Um, I've done that, I've clad it with boards to match the existing fence. Yeah, so it matches the existing fence. As I explained earlier, that's why we fitted the rails and the way we did, so we could just uh, nail on the, the slats. So there's no chance of this gate sagging at all. I mean, I can stand on that right at the end and swing, you know, back and forth, um, and it will not sag. Okay, so here's the gate from this side. Um, the hinges we used, as I said before, we can adjust, you know, in and out, up and down. Um, we've got the drop bolts. <coughs> Start up. Swing it open. No sagging at all. Swing that open, it's fine. To close it, we'll just swing it back. Drop bolt. The only thing I really have to do is put a, a lock on here and a latch on the top here, but that's for another day. That's secured this area. I've got some pretty big deliveries coming uh, either this week or next, so this area will be pretty much filled up uh, with wood for ongoing projects, so it's good to have a little bit of security. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to see me make, you know, I, I didn't film any of the process of making this. I wasn't sure if any would be interested, but if you are, I do a lot of fabrication, so uh, we can maybe get some videos uh, just showing you the process, you know, the welding process, fabrication process. Um, can take it from there. Um, also, I will be doing a lot more fencing stuff, uh, you know, in light of setting up a small business. So a lot of my videos going forward are probably going to be to do with uh, fencing, contracting. Uh, fabrication, welding, and obviously some, I'll still do some rental property stuff as well. Right guys, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.